We will accept. I'm going to see how well that gun works later. I'm going to find her husband first. And see if he will tell me what the actual problem is. so clever those pies are going to be for calvin and his crew lord knows they could use a treat right now hey you tried telling that to erin and breaking a little girl's heart <laughs> i didn't realize my wife was so cold-blooded my eyes <laughs> 40 years of marriage you need to count your blessings you're still alive <clears throat> you must be that new traveler gwen knows it. i am it's always nice to see uh, Gwen? Who's Gwen? Oh, Gwen's the overseer. But I could never get used to calling her that. I've known that girl since she was in diapers. If you need any food for the road, or just feeling hungry, you let me know. Our menu isn't quite as exotic as the common one, but it'll do in a pinch. Work alone? Do you run this place by yourself? Heavens no, I'd be a wreck. My husband, Mark, he helps me. So mostly with the cave skills. Mm -hmm. Did Is hard, it work? hard work feeding everyone here? It used to be easier. Back when I was young, we had more supplies than we could count. Why, well, my mother taught me some recipes that had ingredients that, well, I doubt you could find them anywhere anymore. No. Since we started trading, we managed well enough, but variety? Let's just say it's more than a bit lacking. <laughs> have you ever left? Have you ever thought about leaving the vault? Never. Can you imagine? <laughs> Born and raised right here in Vault 81. It was easier back then, you know. Supplies were high, and the dangers outside were both severe and unknown. Poor Gwen didn't know what she was getting into when she accepted the hmm. role of overseer. Uh, Gwen's progress? How is Gwen doing as the overseer? It weighs on. We need help from the Commonwealth, but a few people, they don't care for. That's just too bad. Upkeep's got people working around the clock these days. Even me. If people are going to be up all night working, they'll need a good meal to keep them going. Good point. Uh, let's see what let's you got. See what you've got. Something's bound to sound good. And then I think I saw uh, the husband I want to talk to. Nope. Uh, move, 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 move. You the hot husband? You, you're not. Dad gummit. Uh, this is the residential area? Maybe that will get me the husband. Milk. Milk, milk. Uh, classroom. Oh, I know what I can do in here, I think. Uh, remember that. Okay, this away. Oh, that's the reactor. We're not going in there yet. Hello? Not dealing with you. Are you? Watch out for the mate. It never ends around here. Nope. It's been a while since someone from the Commonwealth last visited us. There we go. Hey, Holt. I've come to talk to you about your wife. I don't understand why Holt so insists on guy. being useless. Uh, he could run that depot blind. How long do you plan on sticking around? Forever. Why do you want to know? I'll ask the questions. I'm the one that lives here. I have a right to know. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, not long enough. Long enough to have a good look around. Well, hopefully that means not long. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every stray traveler that comes our way. Oh, look at that. Bethesda stuff. Hello, Holt. I hope you don't have anything that needs fixing. I really don't feel like working. Uh, 
Boo. Okay, can I talk Excuse to you me. again? If you need anything from the depot, stop by in the morning. No, I wanted to get uh I think I missed out on whatever cool things that was. Got a bathroom. And maybe I should have talked to that doctor who was asleep. I heard there's all sorts of scary monsters in the Commonwealth. Me! I'm the scary monster. Uh okay. Your pit boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy lately. Nope, never. All right, let's talk to the doctor. Hi. Hi. Wake up. I want to talk to you. That's right. Out of bed. I'll have to remember to drop off that lamp before work tomorrow. I don't care about your lamp. Dr. Penske. Good to be out of the lab. Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to come back here later. Um, boo. Stay out of trouble. Whatever, I'll do what I want. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Nope. Need a doctor. Foresight and Rachel are down nope. in the medical center. They can patch you up. Ooh, hello. Are you a person? What is it we're needing now, fella? I don't know. Come again? What do you mean? Well, Gwenny... Oops. I mean the overseer never lets anyone in unless we need something. I figured someone put in a request with her if we got a new face in the vault. <laughs> Who knows we could use some help around. Fusion cores. I gave some fusion cores to the overseer. Fusion cores? <laughs> Must be for something high tech. I was hoping for a crate of mute food myself. The people here, they're a bit overworked these days. Some blame the overseer. But it ain't Gwenny's fault. Poor girl. Just landed the right position at the wrong time. <laughs> uh, what's going on? What's going on? Why are people so overworked? Well, you live in the same place for 200 years. Time just takes its toll. Until the overseer opened the vault to the traders, we were just slapping on one band-aid after the next. Now we're just scrambling to keep old lady one together. Maybe you should leave. Uh, doing her best. I'm sure she's doing her best. I know she is. She's a smart gal. And maintaining this bucket of bolts ain't easy. Well, I best be getting back to it. Don't want the old lady on me again. 62 years old and still fiery as ever. Hmm. All right. Um, well, that sucks. Looks like I just came at the wrong time. Because everybody's asleep. Ooh. Hello. From the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsythe with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Uh, many patients? Do you get a lot of patients in the vault? No. The people of this vault are surprisingly healthy. This That's vault? All. I have work to do. Excuse me, Rachel. I can patch you up if you need it. For a small fee, of course. How much is a small fee? Yeah. See what's wrong with me, doctor. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? Uh, but you're the rat. Soaked up some rads out there. All right. Let's flush your system. For 40, that's nothing. All done. Any other complaints? Uh, nope. That was it. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? Oh, are you hitting on me? That's funny. Okay, um... Have I gone this way? Oh, this is the way I came, I think. Isn't it? No, that's the way I came. This is the way I need to go. Um... Oh. Hmm. Well... It would have been nice if there had been some, I don't know, brilliant work. I don't care about the cafeteria. Uh, Look 
just get lost killing my buzz here. With pleasure, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, outsider, do me a favor. If my good for nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Uh, your brother? Who's your brother? His name's Bobby, and he's my poor excuse for a twin, so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. Leave? You want to leave the vault? More than you know. There's got to be more to life than this vault. But if I leave, it's on my own terms, not because Bobby screwed it up. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Why supply him? Why would you feed his habit? He's my brother, and he's overworked. I give him a little jet, and he perks up. He seems happy. I feel better. Done. Mm -mm -mm. But it's, control, it's another story. If he wants to put me at risk, he gets cut off. Uh, good. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think... Oh, where'd he go? He was right here. No! I wanted to talk to him. Hey, buddy. Uh, staying busy? Staying pretty busy these days. Quite so. Mr. DeLuca has made it his life's work to occupy my time. <laughs> Not only do I specialize in reactor maintenance, you are horrible now looking. I am trained in doing his laundry, fetching libations, and generally picking up after it. <clears throat> uh, does he work? Does he help out with any other work? If memory serves, the last bit of work he performed was when Mr. Whittaker forced him to clean up the supply room. He was also quite vocal about his distaste for the job. Mm, anything else? I old Rusty. Excuse my extremities. Unexpected visitors. Mm, guess not. I heard that a group of soldiers. Oh, uh, stealing it's stealing. Boo. All right, let's find DeLuca. See if he's running around here. Atrium? Did we do the atrium? Yeah. That's this, isn't it? Damn it. I hear you. Oh, that's the barber. I don't care about that. Well, maybe there's... There might be something for me to do in here. Oh, yay. A unique facial tattoo. Nice. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> hey Horatio. Oh, you're busy. I'll come back later. There we go. Okay. Hey, buddy. Very little discoloration. Strong cellular plant structure. Excuse me, Dr. Penske. My latest batch of food is doing quite well. I'll have to see how it holds up to exposure. Ah. You'll do perfectly. Yeah. I'm in need of a willing test subject to try this new strain of fruit I've created. Uh, why? Why? It's a new strain of mute fruit that I just developed. It should be nutritious and remove radiation <gasps> poisoning. Oh. But I need a test subject to try it. I'll try it. Uh, sure. I like fruit. Excellent. Just tell me how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Hmm. Now, where did I put that Geiger counter? Need to check the water pumps again. The water smells funny. Test group A141. Week 1. Week 1 examination. Germination was fast. Seeds have sprouted and are healthy. Radicals and hypocodals appear strong. Initial examination of spell cells appears normal. Items of note. Uh... 
A1415 and A1419 both display three cotyledons. One, two is displaying a purple striped pattern. Week two. Week two examination. Seedlings continue to grow normally and will be ready for transplant. Roots appear healthy and are steadily growing. Items are note of note. 1, 5, and 1, 9, despite their differences, are thriving well alongside the others. 1, 2 has died. Dissection revealed little to differentiate it from the others. The discoloration does not appear to be infection or parasite related. Week 3. All seedlings have been successfully transplanted. Growth appears continues to appear healthy. Water intake is normal. Neat. What about B203? We won. Germination has been slow. Only 50% of the seeds have sprouted. The radical is barely showing. I have my doubts on the other half. This group does have a higher chance of failure due to radiation exposure. Uh, week 2. Uh, the initial 50% of seeds initially sprouting have continued to show signs of growth. An additional 25 have also started to sprout. I will continue to observe the remainder. I lost 302, 305, 306, and 308 to overwatering. These seedlings utilize far less water than previous hybrids. A potential benefit, but I'll need to monitor them closely for proper hydration. In week 3. I've transplanted 301, 308, 310, and 315. The others have not formed a strong enough root bed to safely move. No further seeds have sprouted since week two. Oh, sad panda. All right, let's eat the moot fruit that she gave us. Um, fresh. Delicious. Yum, 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 yum. And then we got to talk to her. Hey, Dr. Penske. Did you try the fruit? I did. Tell me, how was it? Delicious. Uh, is this your life's work? So, is this your life's work? Just a small part of it. My hope is to create a strain of foods that have increased resistance to radiation. What good is fresh produce if it's always contaminated by its environment? Good I point. I a strain of mute fruit to do well. But I wasn't certain how the hybridization would affect the flavor and the texture. It was delicious. Good. No adverse effects. I knew it. This is good progress. I'll have to start a new batch right away. Since you've been so helpful, maybe you can help out in another capacity. Sure. You see, I need these plants to conduct my studies, and they take some special nourishment, especially the carrots. If you could keep an eye out for fertilizer while you're out in the Commonwealth, I'll be more than happy to compensate you for your efforts. Poop. Uh, how much? Uh, no, sure. We'll just say sure. sure. I can do that. Really? Great. I was dreading having to put in another request to the overseer. Just bring by whatever you can find whenever you have the time. Boo, I'm never going to remember that. I was hoping for a real job. Um, okay. Anything else in here to do? If not, uh, we're leaving. Uh, maybe she'll talk to me about her husband now. Oh, wrong husband. Uh, where are you? Uh, wasn't that the depot? There's the barber. Where are the... I don't know. We tried. Oh, there's the depot. Um... You. You are the person. Hey, buddy. We'll find out. Hey, Calvin. Sorry, new guy. Not a lot of time to talk right now. Why not? Not even for just a moment? A moment? Well, I suppose. Not like I actually want to get back to work. <laughs> uh, what's your job? What do you do here? Me? I'm just the lucky sucker in charge of maintenance here. Sorry if you heard me bickering with the overseer earlier. She and I don't always see eye to eye. Uh, lots of upkeep. So, there's a lot of upkeep going on right now. Hell, you could say that again. Old 81 here, she's a straight up wreck. 
pretty solid for a while, easy enough to keep up with her needs, but in the last few years or so, damn, she got feisty. <laughs> Been going through tools like they were going out of style, so if you got any, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Uh, deal. Sure, you got yourself a deal. Stupendous. One less thing to bug the overseer about. Anyway, here I am running my mouth when there's work to do. Sorry I can't talk longer, stranger, but mind the maintenance. Shouldn't get in your way at least. Uh, do I have I any tools? Damn, I, need a break. I guess I don't have any tools. Um, now will you talk to me about your husband? Excuse me. Looking for something? I have more stuff than I know what to do with. You work by yourself? Do you run this place by yourself? Well, there's my husband, Hall, but once you meet him, he's nowhere to be found. I swear the cat is more help than he is. <laughs> uh, why say that? Why do you say that? I really shouldn't get into it. Tell me. It's all right. You can tell me. I really shouldn't. Thanks. Oh, I guess once you I'm fail, you I'm always fail. You Boo! I don't need Not nothing. Good. I'm here if you do. All right, let's leave the vault. Where are you? Who's who's screaming that? Cuz I'll help you. We got a trader in today. Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. He may have some work for you at the end of the day. Pardon me, Dr. Penske. Those seedlings are almost ready for transplant. Uh-huh. What about your boy? Need more fertilizer soon. Whatever. You screamed about the boy. I come to help you with the boy and you're like, "Nope. Not going to talk to you about the boy." Fine. Leaving. Alright. Screening and security. We're going to the exit zone. Beer, beer, beer. Cat managed to get out of the vault. I don't care. Care about some silly cat. Alright. Out we go. Oh, shoot. I should put on my clothing. I forgot about it. Uh, apparel. We want that. Deep pocket. Uh, uh, pocketed, pocketed, is that everything? Right arm, where's the left arm? Ah, there's the left arm. Okay, we are good. All my clothes. Um, oh, I should have checked and see where we are. Oh, ho um, well, we did kind of go the wrong way around, so let's, I guess, we'll go back. South. Someone could make a statue out of you like that. Abstract, ideally. <laughs> uh, I guess, there we go. And then south. I will say, I I think I just can go. Can I just go straight south? I think I'll just do that. I don't care about the road, really. I don't care about wild moot fruit, either. <laughs> 